Hey Mike, good morning. I was going to run through this, how I work this in the uh, in using Photoshop. So, if uh, I'm assuming you have Photoshop, but I use this slice tool to divide this thing up. And the first thing is uh, looking across. It's how many across and how many down. And then I usually uh, just knowing because I've worked with this one. There's like ten of ten on the bottom. And then I look to see how many slices I want to go across. One, two. And then you have this link in here. It's a uh, three and then four, five. So usually if I can divide this into, you know, horizontally, uh, whoops, five of those, and 10 of those, then I'm fine. And then what I'll do is uh, sort them so that I can break it down to the places that I need to be at. So I can make these slices, and then what we'll do is just combine all the slices together. So bear with me as my system goes here. And click through it. Okay, so then that uh, this creates the the image, and then what we do is we just go through and combine everything into the places that we want them to be. So uh, the cross ones, if about is here. It also works for shop. If contact is here, I might need to combine that with collections and privacy party. I don't know if you see what I'm doing here, but I'm looking to make the little links down here, but then also looking up here, just make sure I don't screw anything up. There's that disclaimer. And then on this side, these goopy little things for the Pinterest. Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, and then up here, I'll leave that main piece. Okay, so now I've roughly got it in the right places, right? And then we just need to combine these, and I do that with the, uh, with the mouse click. So if I select these two, like on the Mac, it's with the shift, and then I just combine the slices. And by combining these, I can whoops, make the, uh, the boxes bigger or smaller as needed. Um, now in the slices, this is also where it does that, uh, leaves that goofy line sometimes, depending on the email inbox. So I'll show you how to fix that uh, once we uh, get that part done. So bear with me, I'm going to click through these things and combine them and I may speed up the video here when I'm done recording so you don't have to painfully watch every piece of this. Okay, now once you have all these combined, you just need to go through and actually identify where they go to. So let me arrange my windows so you can See what I'm going to do here because I will go. Oops, this is iron resin. And the first thing we're going to do is grab this link from shop. I'm going to come here. This is where you put in the URL. So I copy that in there, and then the tag is shop. And so the alt tag is what shows up when the image before the images are loaded, and it just improves click-through when people can see what it is uh, since most of these don't preload. Um, with the uh, with the images, most uh, like Outlook and Gmail, they hold the images back for spam purposes. So uh, this is the way to improve your click-throughs on that. So that's why we take the time to, to do this.
Okay, so this has all been tagged now, so we have uh, links, all the places we need the links. We've got the, all the slide where the slices are all built, and so now it's this file save for web. Um, Normally it's whatever you used the last time, so I was messing around with uh, PNG. There's probably a faster way to do this, but... Alright, so now when I do save, down here under Format, I do HTML and Images, which reminds me since I just did this last time, I've got to go through and empty out these images or else it gets all screwy. So I usually just throw those in there. Now my images are clear. And anniversary newsletter, all the images, it zips all those down. Now and I go back to Which is there's my anniversary newsletter. So when I pull that open, it looks right. And then this is where I need to make that little change with uh, to get rid of those lines because sometimes those lines show up. And it wasn't every time, but for some reason it was every time I looked at yours. So to do that, I grab the source. source, so this is the source of the anniversary newsletter, and then I'm just going to do a quick find replace in here. Oops, edit. Um, and we'll be looking for the IMG file, and we'll be replacing it with whatever this little sneaky code is. So instead of IMG, we're going to replace it with IMG style display block, just like I reminded myself I was going to do, and I say replace all. That takes care of those, 22. Now I can take this, and I can file save as, this is going to end up being my anniversary newsletter. HTML again. It's OK. It says, yeah, I'm going to do that. It said yes. So now I have anniversary newsletter one, pulling up the same images. And then what ends up happening here is that uh, in order to import this into MailChimp, you need to zip it down. So I compress those two items. I give this uh, a new name, anniversary newsletter, no spaces, and then we're off to MailChimp. Okay, so on this, don't delete. Instead of this, you'll probably want to save it as a template. If this is the correct HTML for centering, let's just copy that piece of it. Put that over here for a second. Because the way to get this in is not to uh, to save it. You, you want to save it under a template. Um, but in order to get the newsletter out. Let's just go and create a regular new campaign. So it's a regular campaign. So go to Iron and Resin. Subject, you have subject line.
just jump right into resonant under tracking. You want to use Google Analytics click so that you can track this. It usually puts in the date and the newsletter, so keep that. Um, social media, I usually keep that on. And then down here under more options, uh, authenticate, just make sure it goes from the same place. So RSVP, this puts their name in it if we have their first name. And then when we come to here, this is where we import a zip file. Okay, and then your corrected code. Go ahead and just stuff that down here. Hopefully, it works for you. <laughs> So we preview, we can do a pop-up preview. Just double check that everything looks good. And then what I usually do is I will send a test mail. So this time I'll send it actually to myself. And then I'll forward that over to you. And then on plain text, I'm going to click that over, just copy the text and email, which it already did, but it doesn't, it's not going to end up picking up anything, so let's just grab the event bright link, because that's really the only thing we're trying to get them to do right now, right? And we'll just copy the so if you don't get HTML emails, that's what you get to see. It's RSVP and the Eventbrite. And then it's all set and loaded in. So we'll just say, I'll send this over to you. And uh, we can go from there. So hopefully this helps and you can launch your own newsletters in no time.